Mario Party, the game that balances luck and skill. With Super Mario Party Jamboree coming out soon, I thought it'd be a good idea to rank all the other Mario Party games. For this video, I'll be ranking the 12 main console games that had a fully fleshed out party mode. Leave your favorite Mario Party game in the comments below. Let's begin! In 12th place, we have Super Mario Party. When ranking these games, I considered how much fun I have with my friends while playing, the replayability of the game, and whether there were major problems with the game, and how easy it would be to fix them. For me, Super Mario Party is okay to play the first time around, but it gets boring fast and has major flaws that aren't easy to fix without completely changing the game. The game has some cool ideas like the individual dice blocks, but it doesn't feel fully fleshed out. If they wanted to make character selection a strategic part of the game, I feel like going down the Mario Party 7 route with its individual special items would be better. I hate the 1-6 to six die, and the small boards and the game really just becomes who can get to the store and buy more golden pipes. The economy is completely broken. You really never have to worry about affording things because you almost always can. Now if we could just switch this economy with the real one. There really isn't an easy fix to this one other than completely scrapping the idea and going back to how the old Mario parties play, which is what they appear to have done in Jamboree. I rate Super Mario Party 2 out of 10. I'm going to announce the next two together. In 11th place, we have Mario Party 10, and in 10th place, we have Mario Party 9. I, like so many other people, do not like these games. However, I think I dislike them for a slightly different reason. These were ND Cube's first cracks of the Mario Party series, and I understand where they were coming from. At this point, Mario Party had eight main console games and was beginning to get a bit stale. Something had to change. The next Mario Party needed to have something to keep the series fresh. Where they went wrong is that they changed the game entirely when they should have probably introduced a new dynamic, like the day and night cycle in Mario Party 6 or the lottery shop in Mario Party 4. I think a lot of people are upset with the vehicle and how everyone travels together, but I don't fully mind that. My problem with these games is the mini stars. They combine stars and coins into mini stars, which I think completely ruined the game. It makes the game way too luck based, especially if you get a Bowser Revolution right at the end. If they wanted the vehicle mechanic and the linear board, I think it could have worked much better if they kept coins and stars. Have a minigame after everyone goes and scatter star spaces across the board. When players reach a star space, have a bidding war. Start at 10 coins and players can bid in increments of 3, and the highest bidder gets the star. Some people may still not like that, but at least that would add strategy back in. I would also only do that for one board and have the rest play like the original Mario parties, but the vehicle mechanic would not be that bad if done properly. I rate Mario Party 9 and 10, 3 out of 10. In ninth place, we have the original Mario Party. This game started the franchise we all know and love today. It had some fun minigames and some really good boards, especially considering it was the first game. Having said that, being the first game means that there were some kinks that needed to be worked out. There were no items really, and some game dynamics had yet to be implemented. Like how in 1v3s, the three should probably be on a team, even though they really aren't in this game. I rate the original Mario Party 6 out of 10. In 8th place, we have Mario Party Superstars. This is a very standard game to me. I rated it a little lower because it doesn't have six boards. And since all the boards were just remade from older games, that's an interesting choice. The mini games were good, although that is because they are from other games, so they chose the best of the best, which not complaining here, but I couldn't place the game higher because of the lack of six boards and because I really just don't like the lucky spaces. I think they are a watered down decay space that someone seems to land on almost every turn, which doesn't feel that lucky. I think it would be better to cut the spaces down significantly and offer some really good prizes for winning, and to counter it by having bad luck spaces that have devastating punishments. Essentially just re-adding DK and Bowser spaces, but just calling them lucky and unlucky spaces. 
I rate Mario Party Superstars 6.5 out of 10. In 7th place we have Mario Party 3. I probably made a few people mad that this is not a bit higher, but I admit I grew up with the GameCube versions, so there's a little nostalgia helping them out. Mario Party 3 is better than the original Mario Party as all the kinks are smoothed over, but I think Mario Party 2 is a much better game. The boards in 3 are pretty standard, I don't hate or love them, except for Waluigi's Island, which is great. The mini games are pretty good, but I think the other Mario Parties are just better. I rate Mario Party 3 7.5 out of 10. And continuing the trend of potentially angering people, in 6th place we have Mario Party 4. I had a hard time ranking 4th place through 7th as they are all good games that have some issues and I had to essentially rank which issues were least important to me. Mario Party 4 has some of the best mini games of any game. Where Mario Party 4 has some problems for me, however, is its boards. They feel like essentially the same board, just with slightly altered paths, except for Goomba's Greedy Gala. It makes it hard to replay the game sometimes, just because I find the board slightly boring, even though I love its mini games. And for that, I rate Mario Party 4 8 out of 10. In fifth place, we have Mario Party 8. I have almost the exact opposite problem as Mario Party 4 with this game. I really love the boards of this game, but some of the mini games really rely on some faulty motion controls. Where there are some good mini games, there are some boring ones as well. When the game first came out, I actually really didn't like it and I thought it was the worst one, but I really grew to love the boards. Another weird little thing about 8 that slightly bothers me and which could just be a me problem, is that every other Mario Party feels like a Mario Party game except for this one. This includes Mario Party 9, 10, and Super Mario Party. They all feel like Mario Party games, but this one doesn't. I don't fully know why. Maybe it's the theme or the music, but it feels like this was originally supposed to be a generic party game that they then added Mario afterwards. I know they fully intended to make this a Mario Party game, but it just feels that way. Something feels less Mario about it. I still rate Mario Party 8 though, 8 out of 10. In 4th place we have Mario Party 7. I think the boards are decent, there's a few okay ones and some really amazing ones. The mini games are decent too, although I wish there was a few more of them. Mario Party 7 gets a higher rating, probably due to some nostalgia from me and its 8 player mode. But it is a very decent game, and I rate it an 8.5 out of 10. I had to slightly dock some points off though, just because I think the Bowser mode, or Bowser time I should say, is kind of just boring and repetitive. And before we move on, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out as I try and grow the channel. Thank you! In third place we have Mario Party 2. I think this is probably the community's favorite game. It takes from the original Mario Party and smooths over all the issues to create a really solid game with great boards and great mini games. The reason I don't have it higher is I don't really get to play the game with friends. I also have more nostalgia with the games coming up in this list and the slight negative of only being able to carry one item. But I still rate Mario Party 2 a 9.5 out of 10. In second place, we have Mario Party 5. This is the very first Mario Party that I have ever played. I love the mini games, and although all the boards in Mario Party 5 are standard boards, they are quite good and feel unique to each other. I love using Mario Party 5 to introduce the series to new friends, as I think it is one of the easier games to understand while still being really fun. I also really like that unlike the newer games, Mario Party 5's alternative modes are fun and clearly were made without taking away from the main game. I rate Mario Party 5 a 10 out of 10. And coming in first is Mario Party 6. I love how each board essentially has a unique dynamic to it, as well as the day and night cycle. I also really like a lot of the mini games. ND Cube should have looked at Mario Party 6 when making 9 and 10 to see how to keep a game fresh without completely changing it. All in all, I rate Mario Party 6 a 10 out of 10. And that is my ranking of all the Mario Party games. It will be really interesting to see where Super Mario Party Jamboree fits in this ranking. Until next time, see ya!